Okay, guys, I'm here today with Andrew Witz, a huge honor for me. Guys, he's a black belt from Heath Pedigo and uh, from the Daisy Fresh BJJ school. And he just shot an entire instructional here all about his guard pass system, which is called the Bus On Guard Pass System. And it's amazing, and he's winning every single Jiu Jitsu tournament, Gi No Gi. He just won the Pan Am's No Gi, uh, middleweight black belt, and he won the words on every single belt. So it's the next guy coming up. But, oh, oh Andrew, I want to ask you, like, uh, everybody's talking about Daisy Fresh, right? The Jiu-Jitsu <laughs> school, Daisy Fresh, you guys train the, trains in the laundromat area. So explain to us, like, everything, like, how, how that started. Mm -hmm. and the... So, to clarify, our school is called Pedago Submission Fighting. And but everybody's calling it Daisy Fresh. We're in an old laundromat that used to be called the Daisy Fresh Laundromat. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. And Daisy Fresh got started because uh, Show Your Roll sponsors me officially. But yep. they do a lot for our whole team, yep. and they wanted to do something nice for us, so they did a shirt drop for us. Okay? Yep. And what they did is they took a really clean picture of the sign, and they called it Daisy Fresh American Jiu-Jitsu. Mm -hmm. So then if you fast forward years later, Flow Grappling started coming down and doing epi little episodic type structure documentary yep. stuff, and they called it Calling Daisy the, Fresh I American Jiu-Jitsu. Oh, that's easy. And uh, it's just a, it's a little building. It's, uh, it's very cold in the winter. It's very hot in the summer. The roof used to leak. We've got that fixed now, I think. Uh, <laughs> birds find little holes to fly in. Uh, we find animals in our sleeping bags sometimes. But <laughs> the building is trash, okay? Yep. But everyone in there doesn't care because everyone in there wants to do what you've done. Everyone wants to be the next Bernardo Fario that's won the world at everything in their six major successful jiu I appreciate style. that. So everyone's, yeah. everyone just wants to train hard. So we don't need a nice building if we're surrounded by people that want the same thing we do. So when I talk about it, I'm like, I let a lot of people talk to me from little garage schools, which is kind of like how I started. I tried to find people to yep. train with up in Michigan and I was struggling. And uh, when I got to move in the gym and suddenly I'm surrounded by people that want the same thing that I did. Instead of when Michigan felt like I was pulling this heavy sled through the mud and I'm trying to drag people to do what I want to do. When instead, at PSF, at Daisy Fresh, it feels like everyone's pushing the sled together. I got it. So if Bird is really sore, his body's beat up, everyone's like, come on, Bird, let's go. Let's do a drilling session. Come on, let's go out and let's let's go lift weights. Let's go do cardio. And let's, let's, let's roll. It's like you're immersed in the environment. The environment's very positive because everyone is there for the same reason. Got it. And then we, uh, we're very close. Every jiu-jitsu school in the world calls themselves a family. But... Uh, I've been to a lot of jiu-jitsu schools. I've gone around and traveled a lot. And th there's some truth there, but a lot of them, they, they use the phrase without the intent behind it. But everyone at PSF is very close. Good. A lot of the guys live together in the house now. The guys live together. They come live in the gym with me and Bird. We're constantly around each other. If something's going on in, say, Good. Marshall's life, everyone knows and everyone wants to help him. If someone from the gym has a problem, some, someone else in the gym is going to help them. Good. So it's a, very, it's a very good environment. Our coach, Heath Pedigo, uh, he's, it, it, he doesn't come across this way a lot in videos because he doesn't get a chance to show it. He's very technical. He studies film nonstop. He studies people what, like, tr like doing jiu-jitsu tournaments, who's winning it, not just black, but purple, brown, and black. Right. And he'll go through and he'll see a movie he liked, watch every single video the guy has for the past two years, spend a month working on it on his own, trying to work the kinks out before he'll ever bring it to us. So we, yeah. we get to be very up to date on the new stuff that's coming out. Yeah. So it, it's, a, it's a good place. We have an open door policy. We don't do any affiliation stuff whatsoever in yeah. terms of like, oh, you're from so-and-so. And, -so. and you can, everyone is allowed to come train for however long they want to come train. Yeah. Some guys come for a week and then they want to go back. Some guys come for a month and you know, we know they're there for a month. We just like to have good training partners. Yeah. So if, if, if Bird wanted to come spend a, two months down there and then go compete under check mat still, we're completely okay with that because we get to be around someone that's good at jiu-jitsu. He can share knowledge that's with us. Right. We get to help him. We go to tournaments. We have friends everywhere. Right. Every, every city we go to, people, because we've made good connections and good friends through jiu-jitsu, we get offered places to stay. And they just the people are what matter. I got it. No, man, that's amazing. And uh, Andrew, uh, you just said one thing that while you were saying, I was thinking about, and it's really true. Like in jiu-jitsu, I think it might be one of the only sports that you don't need anything fancy. So for example, if you play tennis, you might need the very fancy racket because that's going to interfere in the results. Mm -hmm. Or if you drive the NASCAR, you need the fancy car. Or if you 
play golf, maybe you need defensive court or the, the right size. And the jiu-jitsu, you literally need the mat, a gi or no gi, and that's it. Believe it or not, you don't even need a mat. Uh, I've I've both been the guy when I was out in Hawaii. I was rolling with the local Hawaiians on the grass in the basket, the baseball field. Yeah. And I've also put card cardboard down on cement and done rolls in a gym, like a, like a weightlifting gym. You don't need it as long. You just have to have the drive and want to do it. And yeah. you do have to have partners. So like you have so to people be a good person. Yeah. You, people that have a huge ego, no one wants to trade with them. They're not going to make it far enough because no one is going to like them enough to do the drills yeah. with them that they need to do to be successful. Yeah, no, man, that's amazing. And uh, yeah, I was very curious to hear it from you. I have been studying uh, Daisy Fresh a lot just to understand what's going on because you guys are getting great results. And uh, I expect that if... Pet Eagle might be super technical just based on you guys. Like, He's very smart. It has to be like, how can you have students so good as you guys are with all being? So that's amazing and uh, super excited for all you guys have been doing and, uh, to see the results. Like, I'm actually like mad with this coronavirus because last year <laughs> I bet you guys, you guys would have got uh, amazing results in the it's okay world eventually everything's gonna go back to normal and then yeah we can all do real jujitsu again yeah we're not oh. gonna pretend that we're not training <laughs> oh that's awesome and guys so as i just said in the beginning so andrew just showed an entire structure all about the bus on guard passing system for bgg fans yeah well andrew talk a little bit about that so what's the bus on system so the bus on system is if you imagine from the very start who gets the first grip and then both of us play perfectly from that point on with equal variables. How's the match gonna go? Okay, fast forward, if I'm in this position, I'm a De La Hiva, I'll let him reach up and get my sleeve grip. If neither of us make a mistake anymore, how's the match gonna go? Then like both of us, if I, if I give up the first grip, if I give up that, if that first sleeve grip, and I don't make any mistakes, he's still gonna win. Okay, so you start pushing the onus back to the very start. I have to win the grip battle. I have to be aggressive with my grip fighting. The moment I touch you, I have to take advantage of the grip or there was no reason to grab it. So when you go to grab me back or you go to try to block my, my initial pass, I'm going to get some kind of motion going, some kind of turn that's going to make you start to give me reactions I can chain off of. So like if I, like I love Torianos because they're so versatile in, as a first pass and also as a finishing pass. If I get a good Toriano start, you have to turn into me to kick over. You have to turn into me to try to get your knee back in and brace off me. And I can use that turnover to either cross to the other side or catch you in the kickover and drag you through. And then every step of the chain, I get a little bit closer. And then every time I almost get a pass, I'm putting a lot of effort in, but the guard player that has to give everything he has to get his guard back only to have an immediate threat of a pass in him again is going to get tired faster than I am. And either they will get tired and make a mistake or I'll get close enough to a pass because I was able to like, chain proficiently that I'll nail a pass. And at that point, the match should be over because you shouldn't lose side control mount or the back. Yeah, man, that's amazing. And uh, I'm glad you already showed me, but just by you explaining, I would be very curious here to, <laughs> to see it. But uh, so guys, make sure to check that out. It's going to be at bggfanatics.com very soon. Maybe by the time you're watching, it's already there. And also, again, yeah, thanks so much, Andrew. Sure, awesome. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed bjjfanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jiu-jitsu faster.